Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and we've got four phones lined up on a desk, so you know what it means. It's benchmark time. We've got the original Droid on the left, then the Droid 2, and the Nexus 1, and the Evo 4G. These are all phones. All four of them have Froyo, officially, Android 2.2. So, let's first run Linpack, and you're going to see we have issues with Linpack, actually. Uh, the two phones on the right run the Snapdragon processor, and the two on the left have a TI OMAP processor. And you saw when we ran the benchmarks on uh, Android 2.2 on the Droid for the first time, the scores didn't really seem to be as high as we thought they might be. Now, if you look at this, the Droid 2 is only at 14.1, and that is way under what it should be for running uh, Android 2.2 with the just-in-time compiler. It should be up there. We assume uh, around the Nexus One and the Evo, which are in the high, you know, mid to high 30s. So. Linpack's having trouble with the TIO map processor, apparently, and I'm sure somebody will write in and explain to us why and why we're wrong. So instead, let's run Quadrant. And, oops, crashed there on the Nexus one. Let's try that again. Uh, we actually saw a Quadrant score that was just top notch for the Joy 2 uh, a couple days ago. So let's run it and see how it compares to the other phones and so on and so forth. And I'll just sit back and watch it happen. See, the graphics on the uh, Droid 2 are actually pretty darn smooth. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, we're wrapping it up. We got the Droid, we got the Evo, the Nexus 1, and the Droid 2. So let's see how everybody fared. So we'll start with the original Droid. It's down there below the Droid X, but above the Galaxy S. That still seems a little weird, but whatever. Uh, the Droid 2, top of the charts. Uh, really can't complain with that, right? Brand new phone, Android 2.2, that should help. There's the Nexus 1. You actually see it below the Nexus 1 because I'm running Cyanogen. Um, and there's the Evo 4G, which they've got above the Droid X and below the Nexus 1 with Froyo. So feels about right, I think. I still don't entirely know how they get these scores, so keep that in mind. Um, but what do you say we do some basic graphics testing? We all love Neo Chords, that cool test with the little Gundam robot guy, and test uh, graphics power. You'll remember we've done this before, and the Samsung Galaxy S phones, the Vibrant and the Captivate, came out on top. So uh, we don't have those in this test. We'll probably run another benchmark test with some more phones, because... Man, we got a lot of phones to test these days, don't we? Um, just turn the sound off on one of these. You can't actually hear it here. So let's run these. We'll try to keep them relatively close together. I'll keep the, uh, say, how about the Nexus 1 and the uh, Joy 2 as close together as I can. And we'll run the Evo and the original Droid and sit back and relax, watch the Gundam. We'll be back in a minute to see the scores. So there we go, 25.7, 27.9 on the Nexus One, 39.3 on the Droid 2. That's still below what we got on the Galaxy S phones, but that's the best out of these four. So there you go, guys, some benchmarks with the Droid 2. See you later.